Hi handsome and welcome to my 20th video. For this one, I thought we might do something a little special for the channel, but very generic for video YouTube. It's time to tell you about my favorite grind spots in the game. Now, I should point out that these spots are not necessarily the best money per hour spots in the game. They are simply my favorite because I personally really enjoy them. For me, how enjoyable a spot is, is always going to triumph over how much money it makes. I think that by now, it is quite obvious that I am not that into efficiency, since to me, efficiency is the number one reason why games feel like a job. I will keep saying this till the day I die, but if you do something you don't like doing in not just BDO by the way, but any video game, simply because it's the best at XYZ thing, you are playing games wrong. This goes double if you are the kind of person who tells others that they are griefing themselves because they do something they enjoy rather than the best XYZ thing in the game. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's begin with number 5, which is a spot that I honestly want to like more than I actually do. This is Dekia Cyclops. The spot is actually really neat. You have these two distinct phases where you first need to kill the big Cyclops who has like actual mechanics by the way and after killing him you get a couple of waves of gargoyles who swarm you until another Cyclops appears and resets the cycle. For full information sake I want to give all spots some flaws so that you know what you are going to be dealing with because although these are my favorite spots they might not be your favorite spot so I want to be fair. Now with Dekia Cyclops there are two major flaws that I have. The first one is shared across all endgame zones and it's crystal loss. This is not a video about crystal loss so I will keep it brief. It simply sucks. It sucks going to a spot, dying to a single mistake or even worse, dying to a disconnect or a lag and then losing a crystal that is worth more than you would actually make at the spot if you grind it there for an entire hour. It feels like you are wasting your time, it feels like you are not progressing, it's not fun, they need to remove it. There is no real reason for it to be in the game still. The second flaw is not as big but it's still a flaw and it's something that a lot of zones actually have a problem with and that is that this spot is kind of made reliant and the reason here is because it has two types of trash loot. One you get from the gargoyles and the other you get from the cyclops. So you can really stack them on a horse and you will need to decide which one you want to send roommates to a storage. So it's going to be a bit harder to actually grind here without a lot of mates. Otherwise, if you have the gear for this spot, I still recommend it. Just be careful with those crystals. Alright, let's move to number 4, which is going to be a big surprise for a lot of you, especially if you don't watch my stream. It's Kadri Ruins. Or Kadri? I'm not sure. This is my go-to spot if I just want to chill on stream, if I just want to unwind or relax or just do whatever. There are no big mechanics, no big gear requirements, you just put on some good music, you open up your favorite flavor of Monster Ultra Energy Drink, and a bunch of mobs will just appear and you one-shot them. What makes this spot better compared to other similar spots is the Kadri Ring, which can earn you a lot of extra cash if you get lucky enough enhancing. It's also an Atanis spot for those of you who still don't have the infinite potion or maybe if you want to make another one. So it's just wins all around. If I had to pick one or two bad things about this spot it would be that classes without a lot of mobility will not have that much fun here but that is the case for most one shot spots to be honest and the money especially if you don't get lucky enhancing or if you don't choose to enhance at all is not that great if you really care about money per hour. Now number three is a very popular spot for many and it's none other than stars and pillars. If you are new to the game and don't know what that is, they are a special type of grind zone located inside the star sand zone and you have these three pillars and you get to them, you attack them and it spawns an endless horde of stars and mobs that will attack the pillar or you until the pillar is destroyed. The loot is the same as regular stars and but the mechanics are a little different and the mobs act a little bit different as well. Which is why I like this spot. Another reason which can also be seen as a negative is that this spot has the highest rate of distortion earrings in the game. If you are lucky you can get 3, 4, even 5 this thousand an hour which is insane now this makes it that much more frustrating if you don't get any dry hours here 
really suck. So if you don't like RNG spots, this one might not be the one for you. Last thing I just want to mention is that please do not go to Arsha in this zone unless you really want to PvP. Since the pillars are so close to the road, you will experience a lot of drive-bys by bored open world PvPers and people will just fight you for the spot in general, especially during busier hours. So if you decide to go Arsha, be prepared to fight. My second most favorite spot will start with the only negative that I really have for this and that is the remote location of it. That's right, we are talking about Puddix Island. This spot is simply great. On the surface it's a very basic spot, you run around these flower pots killing the mobs until one of them drops a special flower that turns the blue mist coming from the pots into purple one, which starts a wave event. After the event is done. The pot has a cooldown before it can start another one, you will see that because there will be no mist coming out of the pot. So the best idea is to go to a different flower pot and grind there until triggering the event there and after that returning to the first one and repeating the process that way. This is a really good spot in terms of just enjoyment but it's also not that bad money wise ever since they added the evasion rings. It's also an agri spot which is pretty good and you can get a merchant ring piece here as well so it's really once again wins all around maybe be afraid of going arsha here because of the merchant ring there might be people who are way better geared than you that will will contest you for the spot but other than that and the remote location there really are no negatives that i can think of when it comes to this spot Judging from the spots I've mentioned so far, you can probably tell which kind of spots I prefer. I like spots without a lot of movement, spots where I can just chill, and spots where I can get a lot of money if RNG Jesus is willing to provide me with some luck and dopamine. And here is where I would say that my number one spot is nothing like it, but that would be a lie. My number one spot is all of these things combined and it is by far my most favorite spot in the entire game. The other four spots I mentioned in the video could change places on any given day, maybe I would even replace them with some other spots. But the one I have at the number one spot will always be the number one until they release something that is similar but better. It is of course none other than Murovax Labyrinth. I cannot describe how good this spot is. So I will let Homelander do it for me. I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. This is the most unique, interesting and fun spot BDO has ever made in my opinion. You walk into this cave, you get assigned a room, you beat the progressively tougher bugs for like 10 to 15 minutes, then you swap places with whoever else is here with you or you go to another room if you are there alone. Yeah, did I mention that you can do this spot with your friends by the way? And then you go again until you spawn a big keeper boss, like a bug queen boss, which you need to group up to defeat. It has cool mechanics, you get different types of mobs that you need to focus and you get the same drops that you would get at Jade Forest. I just love it so much. Go and do it. Hell, you can do it with me on stream if you want to. I will do this spot. I will stop whatever I am doing. If you ask me to go do Burobax with you, I will go and do it. I love this spot. It's perfect. The only thing that I would say is somewhat of a negative is that it suffers from the same problem with mates that other spots have as well. Because once you are stuck in the cave, you cannot leave normally. So you need some mates or you would have to leave the room and then come back every single time which you can do between the waves i don't know how good that is but that's the only thing that i can think of that would in any way make this spot any worse than it is which it is perfect all right handsome that's going to be it for today's video i hope you liked it i also hope that i persuaded you to at least try some of these uh, spots and that you also like the new sound that i have i have a new microphone i hope it sounds better so just do let me know if you like this new sound of me when it comes to my future i don't know if i will be able to make videos as much coming the next two to three weeks i did land a contract on my day job that will require me to put more effort into that so we'll see how that goes i will contact you a little bit better in a post or something so do stay tuned for that otherwise next video i kind of want to make the opposite of this so my least favorite spots so do let me know if you want to see that that is it for today make sure to like and subscribe and enjoy your grind